Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and welcome to the channel. Today I'm talking about block cats, and block cats, I'm talking about urinary blockages. I had this comment in the comment section regarding what to expect if your cat is blocked, and this is what you can expect. So block cats, guys, is usually from a couple different things, but the most common way to think about it is uh, inflammation or stone or something, guys, plugs up the urethra or the lower urinary tract of a kitty, but it can't go pee then. And that's life-threatening. Can you imagine not being able to go pee? Oh my goodness. That would be incredibly uncomfortable and life-threatening because when the cat can't go pee, the urine backs up into the kidneys, you can get kidney damage, you can get azotemia, higher levels of uh, waste products like creatinine and BUN will just get really high, potassium will get high, and this, like I said, can be life-threatening. What to expect is the veterinarian will do some blood work, some x-rays to evaluate your cat's health. What they're gonna do is they're gonna place a urinary catheter and they're gonna empty the urinary bladder out and allow for the urinary bladder to continue to empty into a collection bag. Most likely this is done for about two to three days to allow the cat to continue to urinate out any of the infection, inflammation, and just clean stuff out. The veterinarian will also put an, an IV uh, intravenous uh, catheter in the arm. That way the kitty can get fluids coming in and then fluids going out and we don't get dehydrated and we stabilize the kitty, especially if we've had kidney damage from the block problem. Now, guys, the issue is, you know, I shouldn't say issue, the problem is we do need to be hospitalized for a number of days in a row. We can't just unblock and send home because we will reblock. We must wash the bladder out. We must give fluids. We will most likely give antibiotics for possible infection and give anti-inflammatories as deemed appropriate based on our lab work. So if we can flush everything out and we have two to three days in the hospital, we can make that bladder nice and clean. I tell everybody, I want that urine coming out to be crystal clear because if I pull it and it's still like kind of sludgy or dirty looking, the cat's going to block right back up again. So making sure the kitty stays in the hospital for a number of days in a row is really, really, really important. And once you've done that and the urine is clean and if there's no stones from the x-ray, there's stones, you need, you need surgery, guys. But if there's no stones, which is usually the case, there's usually not stones, then you need to then start, you know, a handful of different things. Your veterinarian will mostly talk about anti-inflammatories, either um, non-steroidals or steroids to reduce inflammation. They will probably talk about some anxiety medicines to help reduce anxiety. So if we're relaxed and we're not stressing, we can pee better. And they will also probably prescribe something that will reduce um, uh, urinary sphincter tone so the cat can pee easier. As well, guys, they may even do a couple different medicines, uh, supplements to um, help improve bladder health. But the most important thing they're probably going to do is change your diet. Now, they're going to change it to one of the prescription formulas that Science Diet has, uh, Royal Canin has, um, um, Purina has. And, and these diets can greatly improve the urinary health, uh, help out with uh, uh, making the urine really dilute and uh, reducing um, various problems that lead to lower urinary tract problems. And by changing the diet, guys, you have far less reoccurrence. You need to change the diet. Talk to you about that. And if you change the diet... I think it's twofold. We have to survive the urinary blockage. And once we do that, we then need to get on a good maintenance diet and a good maintenance plan to reduce reoccurrence. Because if you change nothing, your cat will reblock. It will reblock. So you gotta make sure after you fix a problem, talk to your veterinarian. If you go to if you go to an emergency clinic, follow up with your veterinarian and make sure you have a plan for long-term management of a cat that's had a urinary blockage. Hi guys, my name is Dan. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. You guys take care, bye.